Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Gully Bunches and I've come today with a video to show you how to make these cute covered jars, crocheted covered jars. I've got um, just a jar that I've had something in, eaten, washed it out and I've just used this cotton, crochet cotton, just to make a covering and when you put a little candle in, not a real one, I'm, oh well, I'm, you can use real ones if you want to but I personally would advise to use these um, little fake ones little fake candles, they're very cheap and much safer than the real thing and yeah as you can see quite badly because it's nice and bright in here today that um, the candle just glows through, in fact I'll insert a photograph now just showing you what they do look like when the lights are a bit darker and they are so sweet and have to have a little row of them all lined up would be really cute in these uh, long winter evenings so I'm going to show you how I've made this. Um, as you may recognise this pattern, it's um, it's. I don't think it's the same. No, it's not quite the same as the last video I showed you with the vintage style pattern, but it's very similar. I think in the last video I have three, like three trebles, a chain and three trebles, but in this I've only got two because we don't want it to be too thick because of course we want to be able to see some light getting through. Okay, so I shall show you how to do So I'm using this fairly fine cotton. It's a four-ply cotton by Patterns, I believe it is. And I'm going to cover this jar here. So I've worked out that I needed um, 42 stitches. And this pattern requires you to have multiples of seven. If I can get that to focus. So there's my 42 chains, which I've joined with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to just chain three. And I'm just going to move that jar out of the way, otherwise it's going to try and focus on that and not the crochet. So I've chained three, and I'll just tighten up my knots there. There we go. So that that's our first treble, and the next stitch along will be a treble. Okay, like that. Now I'm showing you with the, this this fine cotton because you know I want I want it to be like the other one that I made so that's why I'm showing you with this fine cotton but hopefully you can see what I'm doing so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip two stitches and into that third one along I'm going to do two trebles and then I'm going to chain two And then we're going to do two more trebles into that same stitch. Like that. And then I'm going to skip two more chains on there and just do one treble into the next two chains along. Okay, so that is that part there. So I'm going to go all the way round and we're going to meet with a slip stitch into that first bit there. So I shall come back when I've done that. Okay, so I've done that first round like that and I'm just going to check that it goes over the jar because it does tighten up a little bit when you start putting stitches in. Yes, and that still goes around just nicely. So we can see that's a good fit. So that's our first row done. And I shall do the second row. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so for this round, we're just going to do trebles into the top of those first two trebles. So I'm going to chain three. Let that focus. There we go. So that's just three trebles three chains into the top of that stitch there and then we'll do a treble into the treble from the row below and then this time I'm going to do a treble into the top of that two chain space there and I'm going to chain three and then another treble into that same chain space there and then a treble into the top of those two trebles from the previous round. Like 
like that. So I'll just repeat that. So that's one treble into the chain space, three chains, and then a treble again into that same space, and then go straight to the next two trebles along and two trebles in top of those. So there's our pattern working. So for the next round I'll come up again the same way that I did before and then repeat this round into the top of this area here. So I'm going to carry on now. Okay, so you can see I've now got as far as up to the, the top of the jar and as obviously it got some shoulders on it so it slopes over. So if we look at the one that I already made, you can see that I did start to decrease the stitches a bit. So instead of doing two stitches, chains, um, trebles there, I just did one in the middle, and that just brings it in just enough to make it fit snugly over the over the top there. So that's what I'm going to do here, and I'll come back when I've done that. Okay, so there we go. I finished making the cover, and as you can see on this top round, I did the one treble, and then I did just. Instead of doing the th two chains here, I did a pico stitch just to make it look a little bit prettier. So um, I'll put links down below to those the pico stitch and the stitches that I've used in this in this video. So let's see now if we can get this on the jar. Hopefully we will. Just unhook it here like that. Lovely. Yep, that looks good. And just pull that down over the edge, and there we go. That looks really cute. I think and yeah that's really that's great so I'm just going to get my little fake candle which I personally recommend using because I don't think I can be trusted with a naked flame and that just pops nicely into there and there we go we've got two cute little jars that we can put up on our mantelpiece or somewhere just a bedside table would be really sweet I think so you can do all sorts of things with these. You can put ribbon around the top if you don't want to do this edge here. You could even weave it in and out if you didn't want to have to bring it up over the shoulders. You don't even have to cover the whole jar like I did. You could stop here and put a nice little edge around the top there, maybe with the pico stitch. That would look really cute too. And you don't have to do this stitch. This is just me showing you how you can use all different types of stitches to do whatever you want with and you could do a granny st stitch maybe, that would be cute as well. Anything that shows through the, the light would be ideal obviously, <laughs> otherwise there'd be no point doing it. But yeah, you could even put wire around the top here and maybe hang them from a tree. And, um, yeah, as long as you're using the fake lights, not a flame, I don't recommend it. I don't want to be held responsible for any fires caused so don't uh, don't blame me if you use a naked flame because I would recommend using these these fake safe ones nobody's getting burnt with that okay all right so there you go that's my little video on how to do these really cute jars I hope you like it if you did please give me a thumbs up that would be really great it really does help the channel and um, I've got plenty of links down below for you on other videos I've done. If you're not subscribed, please give me a sub um, subscribe. I would really love it and you'll get to see all the new videos that I have coming up very soon. I have some Christmas related videos coming up very soon, so hopefully you'll enjoy those too. Okay, well thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.